Okay, so here's a pretty typical substation. Here's a transformer, and that transformer can take voltage from 115,000 volts, which is a transmission voltage, and bring it down to 34,500 volts. And then it goes out for distribution on different circuits into neighborhoods and residences where people use power or for businesses. So this substation has two of these transformers that are each fed from different 115,000 volt lines. And so these transformers each are capable of transforming about 40 million watts of power for consumption. So that each of them feeds into what's called a bus each of the transformers feed in through a breaker so this breaker is this transformers power goes through that and then this breaker over here the power from this transformer goes through and it goes in onto a common bus which can be split using this breaker so the two sides of the bus can be tied together and both can be fed from one transformer out to the circuits that they feed there's like three or four circuits that are fed off of this and that way one of these transformers can be taken out of service and maintained while there's no interruption of power to the customer because the two sections of the substation are tied together using this breaker here at the distribution level that's the basic so i just wanted to explain that on kind of a basic substation setup and how it works.